Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Everybody's left, we have Saeed Gibbs. Everybody's right, we have Kyle Eford. They're representing the defense, obviously. Go ahead, Kyle. So what do you all do for Jamal for scoring that touchdown so you don't have to go back on the field in overtime? I don't know. I honestly don't even – I went up there and almost gave him a kiss, man. I, <laughs> I brought him and said, bro, I love you, bro. I needed that, man. I, I love you. <laughs> yeah, to piggyback, piggyback off that, same thing. We just get on their teammate's hat, and that's what we do. Jackson. On the, the last defensive stop right there, to be able to hold them to a field goal when they got down there. Like, can you talk about, like, what was y'all's mentality once they got down there to the nine yard line? Y'all were able to keep them out of the end zone? Yeah, I mean, you know, we come out that timeout, we kind of brought it in like a huddle. We just said, bro, we just, we just got to bow up. Like, you know, it, it, the game is because this game is on us right now. We got to bow up, we got to get a big stop, you know, play it out how it played out. Yeah, we preach um, finish and execution here. So, well, like he said, when we bring up that huddle, it's all about just finishing, getting that little punch at the ball, etc. A little stuff like that. Kyle, you did a nice job with Amari and today, and he got his one long run, but you guys bottled him up pretty well. What was working for you guys in the run defense? Yeah, I mean, we we knew we had to stop him. Like that's, I mean, I came into this game assuming he was going to carry the ball thirty times this game, so we knew we had to make him one dimensional. And you know, I, I felt like we we did an okay job at stopping the run, so I feel like it played out well. Jonathan. Did you guys expect uh, kind of Criswell to do as much scrambling and running as he did? He seemed to get get a little bit there at the end and kind of get it going. Yeah, I mean, going into it, not not really expected, but he de- he definitely caught me off guard with some sneaky speed. But I mean, I wasn't really expecting it, but I mean, got on it. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting it as well. So, you know, how much has it helped you guys to start to get the pass rush going up front to take pressure off the secondary with the lag? Then you had a nice. You guys had a couple of nice safety blitzes and nickel blitz. Um, it helps a lot, you know, just being patient, watching the ball, um, and just hitting your best move, honestly, and just getting to the ball. Like I said, pr- we preach finish here at Tech, so that's all we do, finish. Go ahead, Chad. For, for either or both, I mean, what to say about the character of this team to pull that out after all those, you know, what? It's resilient. I mean, we always like, like so you said, like we talk about finish on the defensive side, but I mean, really, it's it's the whole team, and it's and it's ingrained in everybody's head now. That, like, we just gotta finish the game. If we can, if we can get a team to the fourth quarter, man, we we gonna come out with it. Kyle, Kyle obviously, you know Jeff a little bit. Did you talk to him? Was there any interaction at all or anything? Like that? Yeah, I mean, after the game, I went up to say what's up, you know, because I mean, he brought me in, so I mean, that's my dude. And, I mean, no no bad feelings towards him or nothing like that. I mean, it's, you know, it's what it is. Anything else for these guys? Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.